Hey Sagittarius, hope you guys are doing well. Cleanse our energy a little bit. <sighs> Hi guys, um, thank you so much. I love you guys so much. You guys have been super supportive. Out of any of the signs, Sagittarius have been incredible. So I am so, so appreciative of you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, uh, commenting so I can interact with you guys. Appreciate you all so much. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Rachel. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Um, quick announcements. I'm not doing personal readings right now. If you want to sign up for my wait list, that's on my website. Um, I have two new oils up on my website. They are ritual anointing oils. I have divine masculine, divine feminine. So all my oils are 18 each, or I'm doing this as a set for 30 together. Um, I have some teas coming out tomorrow. These are bath teas. So you uh, boil these and um, put them into your bath for a spiritual bath. So I have four coming out tomorrow. That will be on my website. So yes, <laughs> that's all I have for you. Make it short and sweet. So we're just gonna get into it. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having a good weekend. What do we need to know for Sag? What do we need to know for Sagittarius? Four of Pentacles, the tower. Let's see, Page of Cups. Wanting to hold on to somebody. Three of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. That's good energy, guys. Four of Pentacles, the Tower. Wanting to hold on to something, wanting to hold back. Um, but a, a tower is coming. So, um... This could be that somebody was holding on to a situation just out of comfort, didn't want to let that situation go. If so, there's a tower coming to where um, that situation is going to be kind of, you know, holding on to like a relationship that isn't really for you, that you're not happy in, but is you're just comfortable in. There's going to be a breakup. If you're holding on to a job that you're not happy in, but you don't know how to let it go, there's going to be a situation where you're let go or, you know, not trying to scare anybody, but, you know, situation where that uh, karmic situation is coming to an end. And it's a situation where, you know, if you don't end it, spirit is going to end it for you. If it's not like a, a situation, you know, if it's not you, this is somebody that is wanting to hold on to you and they are going to come in and kind of shock you here and communicate love um page of cups three of wands eight of pentacles somebody is waiting for an opportunity here with work possibly waiting for an opportunity to build things with you Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there is uh, something coming and in, manifesting into the physical of a relationship or money coming in. Uh, five of Swords. There has been some competition here. Some, you know, somebody trying to one-up you. Somebody um, creating conflict in your life. But there is going to be justice in that situation. Could be a Libra. Yeah. A King of Cups and then Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is... Um, in love here, wanting something long-term. I get that there might be a long-term relationship forming here, and it's because somebody really doesn't wanna let go of you. The strength card could be a Leo here. Let's see. Five of Cups. Somebody feels sorry for um, something that has happened in the past here. There's been a spiritual awakening. They're trying to manifest the situation back. Uh, Divine Masculine. Let's see. Can we clarify the four of pentacles? Two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody was uh, juggling here. Somebody was going back and forth between you and another person or juggling you in another situation. You know, maybe they were with the three of wands, eight of pentacles. Maybe somebody put the relationship with you on the back burner because they were waiting for, you know, something was happening with work. They, they were waiting for a work opportunity or things were chaotic at work. Um, 
This can also be a uh, two of uh, pentacles is your second house. So this can be that somebody has been struggling financially. Somebody has been holding back, trying to save their money um, because they're struggling with their personal finances. Hierophant and the six of pentacles after that. Somebody may have, I'm getting a couple different situations. Again, somebody may have been struggling financially and it was really because they were giving out a lot of money to other people. You know, they were trying to support um, their family, trying to give money, loan out money to friends and it was hurting their finances. Um, the world after that, there's gonna be a completion of that cycle. Um, somebody is kind of recognizing that they, they need to make their, you know, realign their priorities. But the Hierophant here, it's also, the Hierophant is um, a relationship. Somebody may have been juggling you with another person, but they're wanting to complete that. They're wanting to give time and energy back to you now because they want a relationship with the Four of Wands. They're wanting a stable relationship. Four of Wands can also be a Twin Flame Union. Yeah, there was a third party. Somebody was juggling you with a third party here. Wanting to hold on to both people. Somebody may have been using spell work or they were just very manipulative. Let's see, can we clarify the tower? Yeah, there's going to be a... There's going to be a tower that allows you to move forward, the chariot. So if there is a situation that is you feel like is holding you back in life, there's going to be some sort of sudden, sudden shift that allows you to move forward. This shift, you just need to trust it because it is um, for your highest good. It's here so that you can move forward. There's something that's been keeping you stagnant here. But the chariot could be somebody with cancer in their chart. After that, I get Empress, the Hanged Man's Strength card, Six of Swords. So somebody is recognizing here that you are the Empress. Um, could be a Pisces. Somebody has recognized that they don't want to let go of you. I get somebody tried to let go of you. Somebody tried, they were juggling you and another person and they may have, you know, tried to go with the other person because there was some sort of already established relationship. But now they're realizing that person was just holding them back. And they're wanting to move forward with an empress here because they're recognizing the value of the empress and they're wanting to overcome whatever situation was holding them back before because they want victory. The strength card could be a Leo. Yeah, they want to end cycles. There was some sort of cycle of being backstabbed and betrayed. They want to apologize for um, going cold, going ghost on somebody. Because uh, they're recognizing there's a soul connection here. And they were dishonest before. They were dishonest about the fact that they were juggling you with another person. Somebody that they needed to walk away from. Eight of Cups. I get that they're recognizing that they do need to walk away from this person. This other person they were dealing with, um, Five of Swords is a very narcissistic energy to me. It's a one-upmanship. So, you know, the other person they were dealing with was somebody that just didn't want to see this person doing well, didn't want to see this person move on and do better without them. So they would um, mess with this person's mind. And with the justice, you know, she has the head and the heart in her hands. It caused this person, this person wanted to do the right thing, but this other person messed with their mind so much that it, it caused them to get confused about what they wanted and what they needed. But they're recognizing here that they would have something stable with you. They're recognizing that two of cups, there's a soul connection here. Uh, the star after that, that the relationship would be very healing. Yeah, it would be very healing to be with you. They see you as the one with the star. It could be somebody with Aquarius in their chart. Hierophant, again, they're wanting a commitment here. They're wanting a serious relationship. They're wanting to uh, take a leap of faith with you. I get the uh, person they're juggling you with was uh, somebody that they had an established relationship from the past. Somebody that anytime they tried to move on would try to pull this person back. It was more so they didn't want to see this person happy doing well they wanted to one-up this other person 
and they're recognizing that now. They're recognizing that, you know, they really care about you and that your relationship is a genuine soul connection and this other relationship was a karmic relationship they need to get their way out of. There's gonna be a sudden sh shift though. With the uh, Page of Cups is the Page of Wands and the Hierophant again. Yeah, see, this person, Six of Coins, Five of Swords, this person was giving to other situations because of the Five of Swords. It was a narcissistic person that wanted to one up. So if this person pulled their energy away from the narcissistic person, the narcissist would, you know, create trouble to pull this person back into it. This person that they were dealing with is not genuine feelings. It's they liked attention, they liked money that they got from this person, um, and they liked to feel like they were better than this person. So if you leave me and you find somebody that's a soul connection, um, it's going, you know, everybody's going to see that you moved on and you're happier now and you're with somebody better. I'm not gonna allow that. So I'm gonna keep pulling you back into this because I don't wanna see you doing better. And I know as long as I have you in my like web, I can control you and I can take finances from you. I can take, you know, money from you, get attention from you. This person may have even used spell work on this person to get, get them stuck. They're wanting to communicate love to you. They're wanting to ask you if you can, uh, this person wants to ask if you'll be their girlfriend, be their boyfriend, basically. They're wanting to ask if you will be in a relationship with them. They wanna go off on something new with you because they recognize that they would be very happy with you, that they have genuine feelings for you. They've let this other person out in the cold by this point. Or it could be that you have left this person out in the cold because they weren't, yeah, they weren't um, giving to you. So you kind of, you know, pulled your energy back from this person. Uh, Page of Pinnacles, somebody's wanting to apologize, make an offer here because they recognize that you're the one that they were wishing for. Somebody's in love here. It's a, a Six of Cups, it's a soulmate relationship. Somebody's wanting to return to you. Yes, an emperor. Somebody has finally stepped into a, a divine masculine energy. Can I clarify the three of wands, please? Yeah, somebody has money coming. It's something that you've been manifesting. Something that you've been trying to manifest is going to come in very fast, all of a sudden. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for an offer here. So it might be a new job. It might be a new relationship. It might be money. There's something that you've been waiting for and you've been trying to work on. You've been trying to manifest. It's going to happen all of a sudden. So if you've been trying to like do manifestation work for like a new relationship, a healthy relationship, like it's, it's going to happen all of a sudden. You're going to, I get that it's going to be like, yeah, a strength card. Whatever like opposition there was, you're going to overcome it all of a sudden. It's going to be like, you go from like single to like in a relationship. You go from like not having a job to like dream job. You go from like not knowing how I'm going to make rent this month to like boom, $10,000 check. You know, like it's like that type of energy. Like whatever you've been like trying to manifest and work for, it's going to happen all of a sudden. Can I clarify Eight of Pentacles? Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords. Yeah, you, um, Sag, I get that you cut somebody off here. You cut somebody off because you kind of recognize the truth in this situation. You um, recognized that you would rather put your time and energy into building for yourself. If this person is going to keep going back and forth between me and another person, they, um, are kind of playing me and they're still holding on to this other person. I'm just going to focus on like, you know, my money. I'm going to focus on bettering myself. Eight of Pentacles is like work. It's like honing a craft. So, you know, if you have a small business or you've like put your, your energy, you've directed your energy back into bettering yourself here and you've left this person out in the cold. And because you did that, they're wanting to collaborate with you now, especially like five to the three. Eight of Pentacles. This person might even want to like work with you. If you have like a small business, they might want to help you. You've inspired them in some way. They were dishonest before, but they are recognizing that, you know, you are a, a new love here. They're, they've been watching you and they want to communicate that they're in love with you. They want to communicate feelings to you. They uh, recognize that you are the one that they're wishing for. You are the counterpart. 
this other person that created conflict in their life, they are healing from that and they're trying to cut that person off because they're wanting you. They see you as somebody that is wife material here. They want a relationship. Yeah, two of cups. This is soulmate relationship here. There is an ending that is going to happen all of a sudden. This other person, um, the other person, the negative person that was interfering, that was, you know, creating conflict, I get that if that person, um, was using spell work in any way to try to stop your manifestations, it's going to, uh, fall back on them. They've been very reckless. And because they've been very reckless and they've not thought through what they were doing, it's going to fall back on them. They're kind of weaving themselves up here. The karmic cycle is ending. And this person is recognizing that they only want you. They want victory with you. They were anxious before, but they've done some soul searching. And they know that you're the one for them. They know that there would be a lot of healing with you. And they're moving towards you because they want a new beginning here. This person that was interfering, I get that they're in spiritual jail right now. So the, they've been bound. They've been bound spiritually. So the person that was, you know, creating conflict, trying to come in between, messing with this person's head, this it's all fell back on this person. And now this person feels like trapped and they don't know what to do. But that's because it's, their energy has, fall, has fell back on them. So that was a quick reading. <laughs> That's your reading this week, guys. It's good energy. I mean, whatever you've been trying to manifest, it's here. And it's going to happen all of a sudden. So keep positive. Um, hope you guys have a good weekend. I will see you again soon. Bye.